Hey everyone, this is Mike, and today I wanted to talk about hardcore and casual raiding and playing. As you might have noticed, back when Endwalker came out, I played the game pretty hardcore, playing it pretty much any time that I was able to play something, and then when the raid came out, me and my team also went pretty hard on it to try and clear it within the first few days. However, now the expansion has been out for a little bit, and now that my group is also slowing down with the raiding side of the game, I'm now playing the game at a very casual pace. I play about once a week, and that's pretty much it. Although, I am thinking about picking up Tombstone Capping again, because I kind of want to get my Sage Best in slot after having played it a bit last night when me and my group were doing a meme run of P1S, but even then, I probably wouldn't play more than maybe 3 or 4 hours a week at most, if I decided to go back to grinding tombstones, which I'm still not sure if I'll actually end up doing that yet. So around content releases, I play very hardcore to get through the content, level the jobs, finish the raid or whatever other side content might be around, and that then allows me to take it very chill between content releases, so that I don't burn out on the game by the time new content comes out, and it also gives me the time to enjoy other games. And that is the main reason why I like to rate hardcore. We put in a lot of hours during the first week so that we can get through everything and then we can raid once, maybe twice a week from that point onwards to get our weekly clears done and maybe also do some optimization here or there if we feel like it. If I were to go at it at a more mid-core pace, then it could take us a few weeks or months even to clear the content while raiding 3 or maybe more days a week. I would much rather put in some extra time during week 1 so that we can take it slow afterwards instead of spending 3-4 to four days a week for like 4 or 5 weeks straight. But hardcore raiding isn't for everyone. First off, you need time. Not everyone can make themselves available almost every day of the week or every evening, and that limits the time that you can spend progressing the raid. Another factor is the players themselves. Even if you have all of the time in the world, if you and your group aren't good enough, then you will still not be able to clear the raid in the short time frame that you're given, because you'll have to figure out the mechanics yourself, until people start clearing and then you can grab some strats from looking at clear POVs, and then you'll also need to clear a very tight DPS check, which if you're clearing the fights a few weeks down the line, the DPS check will be made a lot easier because the gear is a very big factor. And I guess the last thing to mention is that the chemistry in your group also needs to be good. If you're going to be raiding together every single day of the week for somewhere between 3 to 10 hours, you need to make sure that the group meshes well together because otherwise you won't get anywhere and it also won't be fun because it's a game, it still needs to be a lot of fun of course. So these are all things to take into account if you want to try your hand at hardcore raiding. For me, it's something that I really enjoy, trying to figure out mechanics, spending time together with my group, and the feeling that you get from that first clear each time that you beat one of the fights is what makes it all worth for me. And that is only one side of the coin. The other one is that you get to take a chill in the long run. I know that there are plenty of hardcore groups out there that will still raid three or so days a week after progression to optimize fights, do speed kills, log runs, what have you. But there are also a lot of groups like mine that will raid once or maybe twice a week. For example right now, because people aren't too interested in doing speed kills anymore and because we just want to chill before the next ultimate comes out, we're raiding once a week and that's it. Just get our weeklies done, which takes us about an hour or two, and then we just relax for the rest of the week so that we're all ready to go and put in more time again when ultimate comes out. Because if you're constantly raiding three or four days a week, you might just burn out. The main reason why I like hardcore proc so much is because I enjoy playing a lot of other games. Destiny 2 and Lost Ark are the ones that I'm currently playing the most, but I do like to play an indie game from time to time as well, and there's a new one that did pique my interest, so I'll probably check that one out one of these days when I get some time for it. But because we put in a lot of time early, I now have a lot of extra time that I can spend playing these other games, instead of having to spend it progressing through the later fights. So that is why I like hardcore progression, and I feel like it would be very difficult for me to go back to doing mid-core proc, because once you go hardcore and you've gotten a taste of what it's like, I don't think I'll ever want to go back to a more normal progression. But that's of course just me. Just because I enjoy playing the game like this doesn't mean that it's for everyone. I like being done with the content early so that I can go back to enjoying other games alongside Final Fantasy XIV. But maybe XIV is the only game that you want to enjoy or the one that you want to spend most of your playtime on during a week and then taking a bit longer to get to the raid isn't stopping you from doing the other things that you want to do because XIV is the thing you want to be doing in the first place. It's just something that you'll have to choose for yourself and then see where you go from there. 
Do I recommend people to try hardcore prog at least once? Absolutely, because it's an experience that you only get once every six or so months. Or I guess eight months now that they're slowing down the patch schedule. So if you have the time for it, I would recommend you try it to see if it's something for you. And if it isn't, you've at least experienced what it is and then you know that it isn't for you. But I guess that pretty much covers everything that I wanted to talk about. So as always, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank my Patreons for their support and I'll see you in the next one.